Hey everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Pi Made Easy. Today, we're going to learn how to connect and control a single 7 segment display using a Raspberry Pi 5. If you've ever wanted to display numbers with your Raspberry Pi for a counter or a simple project, then you are in the right place. Let's get started. Before we jump in, let's go over what you'll need for this project. A Raspberry Pi 5, a common catted 7 segment display, some jumper wires, 330 ohm resistors which we'll use to limit current to the LEDs, a breadboard for easy connections. First let's take a quick look at how a 7 segment display works. The display has 7 LEDs labeled A through G and one LED for the decimal point. By turning on specific combinations of these LEDs we can create the numbers from 0 to 9. Today we will connect these segments to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi to control them using Python. Now let's connect the 7 segment display to the Raspberry Pi. Here's how you'll connect it. First, place the 7 segment display on the breadboard. After, connect each of the segment pins A to G through a 330 ohm resistor to GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Segment A to GPIO 15. Segment B to GPIO 14. Segment C to GPIO 3. Segment D to GPIO 25. Segment F to GPIO 18. And segment G to GPIO 23. After, connect the common cathode pin to ground on the Raspberry Pi. To control the 7 segment display, we'll be using the GPIO0 library, which makes controlling GPIO pins easy. If you haven't already installed it, open the terminal on your Raspberry Pi and run the following command. This will make our Python code much simpler. Let's now move on the coding aspect. Open your Python editor, such as Phony on your Raspberry Pi and enter the code. The this script will allow us to display numbers from 0 to 9. Let's now break down the code. We first import the necessary library GPIO0 and define the GPIO pins for each segment. We have a dictionary named numbers that maps each digit from 0 to 9 to the corresponding segments that need to be lit. The display number function takes a number as an input and lights up the appropriate segments to display that number. In the main loop, we cycle through the numbers from 0 to 9, displaying each for one second. Once the code is ready, save it and run it using Python 3. You should see the 7 segment display counting from 0 to 9. If it doesn't work, double check your wiring and make sure the correct GPIO pins are used. If your display isn't working as expected, here are a few tr troubleshooting tips. Ensure all the connections are secure and that each segment is connected to the correct GPIO pin. And if that doesn't work, make sure these 330 ohm resistors are in place to, pro to protect the LEDs from too much current. And that's pretty much it. You've successfully connected and controlled a single 7 segment display using a Raspberry Pi. This is a fantastic way to add visual feedback to your projects and it is perfect for counters or basic displays. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Raspberry Pi projects. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. 